and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome 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 um in today's video i'm gonna share with you 10 types 10 tips on how to start your own youtube channel and this is video is mostly dedicated to the guys and girls whoever wanted to start youtube channel but guys we just let go of that dream we just forgot about it i'm here to revive that dream i want you to Put it on your top list so that this will be your goal so that we can revive this goal let's just you know resurrect the goal and bring it into 2021 so through this journey i'll be here on my channel showing you or showing you how to do it what to do you know as you know from my channel i teach you how to i teach you tips and tricks hacks and stuff so stay on this channel guys if you haven't for if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing so that you can learn more because on this channel as you know i educate you more about productivity i educate you about entrepreneurship i educate you about social media growth right to begin with like i said i have 10 tips for you guys on starting on a youtube channel the first tip you want to choose a niche what is your channel going to be about what are you going to deliver what are you going to educate people what are you going to share with the world right so if it's beauty this could be you know makeup stuff hair everything that is beauty so if it's beauty don't say it's beauty and gaming and fitness and take out those ends because that is generally too much the first viewer is going to view your, pro, your YouTube channel and you are here introducing yourself. I vlog and I gym and, and it's too much. You're going to confuse yourself. You're going to confuse the viewers. You're going to confuse YouTube. So when you're choosing um, your niche, make sure it's something that is close to, heart, to your heart. Something that is personal, something that you're passionate about, something, you know, just so that you don't run out of ideas. And an example of niching out is, let's say the industry is health and fitness, right? And then the market is fitness, right? So what is going to be your segment? Your segment, maybe you're going to consider moms who just gave birth and you want to bounce them back, whatever. I'm not into gymming. Oh, tip number two, I'd advise you to look for inspiration. So you could do this by checking out your favorite YouTubers, see how they're doing. And this could be people in your niche or it could be people who are out of your niche. Just so it's just so you see and know how they share the information or how they deliver whatever they do on their channel. So I'm not saying you should go to your favorite YouTuber who is into the beauty industry and you want to start a beauty industry and go and copy their tricks and tips. Or just simply mimic them everything how they deliver and everything no guys it's inspiration just so that you have a guide on what you have to do how you have to do it so go there for inspiration not to mimic them because the whole idea is to be you be unique deliver your own way don't copy from anyone people are going to love who you are they're going to fall in love who with who you are Tip number three that I wanted to share that I want to share with you guys is to make sure that your content is unique. So make sure that when you are unique, you try by all means not to mimic other people. Like I said earlier, try to do something in your own way. It could be cooking pap. We all cook pap in Africa, but you could choose a different stove. You could cook outside on the fire. You could cook anyway. It could be maybe your pot, the stick that you're going to use. Just try to spice your things out, stand out and be unique. I know YouTube is saturated with a lot of lot of people doing this, almost the same thing if I could say. But it's the twist that you put in it that makes you stand out. Tip number four is to post regularly guys. Just be consistent as much as possible. Posting regularly, I mean at least post twice or once a week, just so that you are consistent. You, YouTube can also pick that you are consistent and you are doing, you are there, you are showing up for your people. So YouTube can also know that, okay, this person is consistent, You it will try to favor you and push you through. But just don't overdo it, don't 
post every day because it will end up you know it won't be good you you'll burn up you run out of ideas tip number five avoid long long videos to be specific myself i'm searching for something on youtube i get all the videos under that specific topic and they are 30 minutes 25 minutes 20 minutes that is too much for me oh um, to be honest i will not watch that video so make sure you make your videos sh short and sweet five to ten minutes that is the sweetest spot longest you can make your video it should be 15 minutes so this will help your viewers you know because people there's so much information there's so much information so just make sure that you make your videos as short as possible because people are bored they have their tv to watch they have instagram to grow to go to and watch other videos they have youtube itself to go to and watch videos they have google to get the information on whatever topic they are looking for so just make it as short as possible so that people just get the point right away and move on to the next thing tip number six tip number six it's so important I'll age you guys it's very very important um, as I'm recording this video I have my script on my right so make sure you have a script make sure you have it doesn't have to be a professional script just have bullets where you have your main points that you want to mention because this will help you guide this will guide you and it will help you you know know what you're supposed to talk about after what Tip number seven, it's so, so very important that you invest in the right equipment. In this case, you know I'm using my phone. I use an Android phone. I use a Samsung J7, saying it with proud pride. Hey. I know it's an old phone, guys, but I'm investing in getting a better one soon. So, yeah, people might forgive you for a bad video quality but they will definitely not forgive you for a bad audio quality so make sure you invest in the proper equipment like a lev microphone like this one i'm using so it will help boost your audio it's so important because people really want to hear a clear message even though your quality may not be so good but make sure your audio quality is very very good we do not compromise on audio make sure the first thing that you want you invest in when you're starting out as a youtuber is audio quality which is the same thing that i did i didn't buy a camera i didn't buy anything but i invested in this thing to make sure that i get delivered to you guys proper sound quality tip number three Tip number three, invest in the cheapest softwares. Use free softwares at this point. You don't want, just because other YouTubers are telling you, no, they're using this and that, of which monthly it will cost you maybe 500 or maybe in dollars. And at this point, you are a beginner. You don't even know how to use them. So it's important, I'll advise you that you try using free versions so that you get to know what the software is all about. And then before you can move on to a paid version. And if you don't know anything about software, I recently uploaded a video on a video where I share my three favorite apps that I use to, you know, to grow my YouTube channel, which is basically what I'm using right now. So go and watch that video. I'll leave it in the description below. Make sure that you go and watch that video. The softwares that I shared in there, they have a free version and paid version, but I'm using all free version and it's. I don't need to pay for now because whatever they're offering in the free version is perfect for my channel with time with time maybe I will use the paid version tip number nine tip number nine it's important to build a community build a community around your followers your faithful followers why because we don't know any day we might just wake up and YouTube is no longer there so this is where you want to implement or bring in another solution such as email marketing if you are in the fitness industry and you are here you're sharing um, you're showing people what type of food they should eat or how they should exercise maybe you can also consider you know sharing with them an ebook 
um, that shows them what type of food they should eat. You know, maybe an ebook with recipes and stuff like that. That is how you get to exchange. That is what you give your viewers for free in the in the exchange of an email address. So this will help you. Like in times maybe you cannot come here on YouTube during the week, you can consider emailing them, sharing with them something, you know, important, a tip, something like that, tips and all that. So yeah, guys, consider building an email tribe because this is a community that is in your control number 10 tip number 10 is to connect with your viewers make sure guys whatever comment comes try by all means reply to that comment like share behind your scenes if you have if, for example if you are on instagram on youtube or i mean on facebook Try to sh connect with your viewers on all these platforms so that they can get to know you, share with them your side, your personal side. It doesn't have necessarily have to be details about your life, but they should just see you as a human being. They should just not come and meet you here and then talk about and educate them about ABC. No, they don't want to be in class. They just want to be, they also want to see the other part of you. So make sure you share that with your people. Tip number 11, bonus tip, ignore, I mean ignore negative comments, ignore negative comments by all means, you cannot please everybody, you are not a piece of cake, so there are people that will like you for who you are, your uniqueness and whatever you are doing with your channel and there are people that may not like you because you talk in a certain way because you appear in a certain way because of everything let that be let that not get to you and that was one of my problems when i started youtube i wanted to be perfect and i wanted to please everybody but now i just realized youtube is so big anyone can like you anyone can hate you so just do you and that will be it so guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can learn more about YouTube, about Instagram, about productivity, about entrepreneurship or any other business that you may consider. And also don't forget to check in the description below. I have a nice goodie for you. You should just go and download it. This is for people who want to start their YouTube channel. There's a checklist there. There's also a YouTube formula. A structure for your YouTube channel, guys, like how your video should be, the hook and everything until the outro. So guys, make sure you go and download it. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Thank you so much, guys, for being here.